Um, Stewie, if you can just talk about getting the tone set early. I think you're 20 in the first half and getting this team going. And Sabrina, if you talk about late, they made a little run. You you hit back to back threes, I think, including one that you pointed to Spike, your new friend, and <laughs> such. And just how big that was hitting those threes late. Were you asking me, me first, or yeah. okay? <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, I think that personally, I just want to come out and set the tone, be aggressive. Um, really kind of take what the defense was giving me. They were switching a little bit. Sometimes they weren't switching. So was able to get downhill, get in the post, and uh, be confident when I'm shooting behind the three. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think, like, we handled their runs really well. Uh, we went on great runs. We had good leads. Then they came back. They went on runs, and... Um, you know, we, we were able to get some stops defensively, and um, that kind of just allowed me to be able to see the three-point line, see some shots go in, and kind of try and kill their momentum. And I think we stuck together really well, um, continue to chip away. It's a long game, and so um, I'm just proud of the way that we continue to fight on offense and defense. Congrats on the win, everyone. This one's for Sabrina. If you could just describe your relationship with this home crowd. <laughs> uh, it's amazing, um, you know, kind of getting drafted here and being able to to be a part of this organization from, you know, when there was 3,000 people in the stands to now uh, there being a sellout. Um, they've just continued to support me throughout my entire career. The teams that, um, you know, I've been on and have come in here and just poured their heart and soul into this organization and wanting um, to win. And so every night I step out there, um, I want to be the best that I can for this team, but for the fans that have supported me and, and us every single step of the way. And um, that's the part about home court advantage that, you know, is, um, I would say, really crucial is like you have these fans that are behind you that make it really hard to play here for other teams. But for us, like we use that for motivation and, and fuel. And when you're going on runs like that and you're hitting shots, you're getting blocks and, um, you know, it just it, it feels like you can almost achieve anything in this building. Hello, all. Congrats on the win. My question will be for Coach. Um, you you win the you lead this game almost wire to wire. You hold Asia Wilson to a season low six rebounds, tying that mark. So, what sort of statement do you think a performance like this sets out? Sets out, and how can you keep that momentum alive? Yeah, look, um, you know, obviously we came out as game one. We knew um, we wanted to play with a sense of urgency and protect our home court. And, and Asia's obviously a key player for them. And, um, you know, I thought we she still ended up with 21, but overall we did a, we did a good job on her. Um, you know, she had to work for all those points that she got. And, um, you know, when you got JJ and Stewie out there and we could, you know, just throw a, a few different looks at her, I think that just made her a little bit uncomfortable. But, um, yeah, so let's hopefully we can go uh, slow her down in game two as well. Uh, Brianna, to the, to the same question about about Asia. How intentional is that part of the game plan? Knowing all the other weapons, obviously that Vegas has, how intentional to say we're going to we're going to key there? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that um, we're we're playing to our scouting report really well, knowing obviously where Asia is um, because the the talent that she is, and and making sure that you know when we do send two to the ball, we have help on the backside. Someone's continuing to rotate. Um, and if they're going to take a, a, a three, you know, it's going to be a contested one. Everything we want it to be contested and uh, one one shot and out. Uh, Sab, I wanted to ask about your defensive uh, performance today. And it was, um, just how that felt in comparison to playing the Aces in the playoffs last year, especially as they were trying to come at you basically from the first possession of this game. Um, yeah, I mean, I felt really solid um, defensively. Also, you know, understanding um, ways that I can get in passing lanes, um, kind of like Stewie said, just continuing to play to our scout. Um, you know, obviously really familiar with a lot of these players, you know, the second time around after seeing them. Kind of um, understanding, you know, all the looks that they're going to throw at us. Uh, I feel like we prepared really well, um, came out in game one and executed exactly like we were supposed to. And um, personally, obviously, I'm going to continue to do what I can to um, kind of try and slow Jackie down. Obviously, she's a great player for them. And, um, you know, just going to continue to do what I can on the de defensive end to um, try and get as many stops as possible and make things difficult. Congratulations on the win. Uh, Sabrina, this one's uh, for you. How much different is it, two things, one, being healthy, and two, being able to take advantage of the first step work you have done to be able to get downhill this year? And how much has those two things changed the matchup, not just today, but all season? Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's helped all season, um, just being able to get into the paint, um, whether it's finishing, driving, um, looking to, to kick, 
um, whether it's dump off to the bigs or just looking to find my shooters. Um, but obviously, I think any time you're able to get into the paint, um, it collapses the defense. And so I know that's something that I've tried to do all season long, but especially in this series, I think to be able to see that tonight, um, my driving ability to just get paint touches and get some easy ones in um, and kind of just you know be able to rely on my shot not as much as I probably have in the past, I think it's just helped me all around as a player and helped help my team. Uh, congrats on the win, everyone. Uh, Stewie, for you, I'm curious if you could take me through the conversation you maybe had with Sandy and the coaching staff during the Aces challenge timeout that happened a little over two minutes left that then that led to two straight buckets for you, which then put the team up by 10 with a minute left. Oh, that was that. Oh, yeah. not that, not that, not that. that. Okay, okay. There were <laughs> some other encounters. Um, <clears throat> no, I think, you know, what, what Sandy said was, um, you know, continue to put the ball in, in mine and Sab's hand, um, especially down the stretch. Uh, and for us to, to kind of make plays, I think that, you know, I know AC is really pressuring me and, and physical and into me almost all the time. And I tried to get her on a, a cut where I could get a little bit better position. And Sab found me um, on a shot. And the other one was um, shirt. shirt, a different action and uh, same type of result. <laughs> hey, all the way in the back uh, for Stewie. <laughs> Stewie back here. Um, just a two part question real quick. Um, one, a clarifying question. Um, the New York Liberty game notes list your wingspan at six ten and three quarters. Some other interviews Dang. you've said seven one. It's pretty long. I, I'm curious if you know your wingspan officially and part two is what impact do you think your guys' length as a team had on Las Vegas overall? <sighs> Um, so I thought my wingspan was seven one. Um, I think it's seven. We're one. gonna have to confirm with the New York Liberty to uh, re uh, measure that. Um, and I think. <laughs> um, listen, when I try to wear long sleeves, listen, these shoes are long. Uh, but continue to make sure my hands are, are kind of in passing lanes, um, knowing that you know sometimes the ball might be out of reach, but still able to to kind of make a play, and even when I can't get it. Just deferring something. Hey, coach, in the back here. Coach, in the back here. Yeah. yeah. In a series like this, the stars, of course, are always going to play almost 40 minutes. But there are two minutes where Wilson went to the bench, and then uh, their team, without her, were able to go on a 7 0 run. Just if, whenever you're not able to win those minutes with Wilson on the bench, does that bother you with the spurts like that? Oh, yeah, I don't like spurts. I want to maintain the league, but, um, you know, just trying to give them some rest where we could. Um, try and keep at least one of these two on at all times. Spurt's going to happen. This is a really good team. We're a really good team. That's a part of the game, the momentum. Um, it's, but I thought, like, near the end, they went on a run. We called a timeout. I thought we responded well, and then we came back out on our run. And I think that's a, yeah, it's an area of growth here. Um, you know, we understand how we want to play and how, you know, we want to exploit them as much as we can, but also just having patience. I thought we had really good patience, and we seek the, the best shot, um, most possessions, and you have to do that against a team like this that can put up a, a lot of points. Stewie, you told the crowd uh, you had a lot to make up for last year. How much did last postseason weigh on you coming into this one, or was it just you mentally boxed it away? No, I mean, I think I've um, just kind of um, grown from it, um, had a, a tremendous unfortunately a lot of time to reflect about it uh, last year's postseason and where can I be better and you know how to kind of just handle things collectively better um, but with that I, I don't forget who I am and what I can do and uh, making sure that you know every opportunity I get I'm going to continue to be better and you know like I said last time wasn't my most proudest but I'm going to continue to be better now. Sabrina over here. Uh, you talked about the crowd earlier. It looks like you and Spike Lee are developing a little rapport, and I was wondering how have you felt about having him at the game? Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think he he might have been the first person that called me when I got drafted here. Um, I think that's a story that I don't know if I've ever said. Um, but he was, uh, I think, the first person that called me and just shared his excitement with um, New York getting the number one pick. And so um, kind of every time I've seen him along the way, we've just 
uh, had small talk and I kept telling him he's got to come out to a game because this is kind of like no other. Um, and to be able to see him here cheering on us, cheering us on loud. Um, he was over there chirping at the refs, talking to the players, <laughs> which was really fun. But obviously it's exciting to see the support that we're getting from um, all t like New York fans. Um, you know, we're trying to bring a championship here and um, it, it takes a village. And it's been nice to see how much um, kind of like our support has grown over the last few years and over this season alone. Hey guys, this one's kind of <clears throat> for all three of you. Just last year, obviously, we, we had this thing in the finals and now we have the rematch, but the team today played with a confidence, you know, leading pretty much wire to wire, never trailing at least. Is, is there a confidence here? Is there a, a mental bar that has been broached since last season? 100%. I mean, we're the number one team. I think from day one, um, you know, we, we talked about it. We, and then we put it behind us. So what are we going to do with it? And you could see we've grown so much as a team. You guys have seen us these last two years, from year one to year two, just our growth, the chemistry. Um, that's a part of more time together. And just, you know, just building deeper relationships and experiences on the court that we can continue to be, you know, to, to get better. What's our potential? And we knew it was just about time. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of confidence, and, but we know we still have to go out there and plan the right way. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.